AutoCAD allows the user to include attribute data into blocks. One of the advantages to using attribute data is that the data will update as the drawing changes. In this video, I'll show you how to include a simple Y value um, attribute <clears throat> to tell you where the center of the circle is for this drawing that will update as the placement of that block changes. Welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor, your source for practical solutions to your problems with AutoCAD and Autodesk Inventor. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe so you will be notified whenever new videos are published. Also, if you have any questions you would like me to answer, please leave a comment below. Now, on with the video! In order to demonstrate how this might work, I've drawn some simple geometry here that's going to represent a block. I've got a circle and then I've got a polyline that looks like an arrow. And the idea here is that the end point of this polyline or the center point of the circle, they're at the exact same spot, will show right here the Y value of that point. In order to do so, the best way to do it is to use an attribute. You can add an attribute on the insert tab and go to define attributes. Once you do so, you'll want to give it a tag. Your tag ha cannot have any spaces and it can be any, pretty much any name you want. So I'm just going to call this Y data. And then I don't need to add a prompt because I don't want it to ask me any questions. I just want it to fill that information in. And under default, I want to add an attribute. To add an attribute, you can simply click on this button and it brings you to the insert field dialog box. I'm going to change this from all to objects and then I'm going to click object here and then this isn't very intuitive but I need to actually pick this button right here so I can select the object and then pick the circle. The circle is going to allow me to specify the center so I want to know the center of this circle. Notice that this circle has an x value of 1, a y value of 1, and a z value of 1. But all I'm really interested in is that Y value. So I'm going to uncheck the X and the Z. Notice that right now it has a Y value of 1. And then I can choose OK. The other thing that I want to do is I want to click this box right here where it says Preset. Um, that way it doesn't have to ask me again any questions. It's going to make sure that it doesn't prompt me for it and lock position. That way it doesn't move it uh, or allow me to move it without moving the rest of the the box or the, the block. And then I'll choose OK and I'll simply put it where I want it to go. Now that I have everything ready to go for my block, I simply need to make a block out of this. So using the block command, create block, I'm going to give it a name and I'll just call it again Y data. I'm going to pick the insertion point, which again is going to be the center of this circle, and I'm going to select my objects. I want all three of those objects and then I'm going to convert it to a block. When I choose OK it converts this object to a block. It also puts it in the block library in the drawing. So if I want to insert another one it reads 0 until I put it into the drawing and then once I put it into the drawing it will update that Y value with whatever I want or what the ever actual Y value is. Now if I come in here and I move this block and I move it say to somewhere else, right now that center will have a value that's somewhere between 2.8 and 4.6. It still reports as 1 until you make the, uh, the program kind of think about where it's been placed. And you can do that just by doing a regen, RE, press enter, and now it updates with the actual Y value of that block. So Again, a great easy way of registering that information and getting it to update is by using attributes.